What's up, gents? Dirtbag Gaming here, the channel for Casual Raiders. We are doing a long time favorite Skull Crusher today. So, this is going to be a how to gear guide Skull Crusher. The full guide is going to be coming up soon, but if you're looking for the full guide, watch the video on how to gear them and then go check out the full guide. I always try to do both of them together, but uh, it's going to be a great guide because we haven't re geared this guy since we first got this guy. Now, he's just so good that he should be in every single clan boss team if you don't have like another counterattack team, which they're only legendaries. So he's the only epic counterattack in the entire game. That's kind of why everybody is sought after him. And he's a very, very all around amazing champion for the clan boss. So with this guide, we always go over the skills first, then we go over some masteries, and then we go over the artifacts on what sets would be actually good for him. Now, he, we're mainly going to gear him towards the clan boss build today. So I'm going to show you what gear I got on him, what I changed, and what I would focus on if you guys are just getting him. So let's get into it. First, he's got an A1, uh, attacks one enemy, places a 50% heal reduction if the target's defense is below this champion. Now, we don't want him to use this. Uh, putting the heal reduction on the clan boss because the clan boss doesn't care anything about the heal reduction. So right there, we already want no, uh, like zero accuracy. So if you have any accuracy gear, get it off of them. Uh, we don't want this for the clan boss, all right? Uh, we did kit him out because we want this cooldown to get down to one. So I actually wasted four books on this uh, and then get down to this. Now, if you did want a little bit more damage because he needs to do damage to heal back up, you can book this out, but mainly you just want this one to get it down to a three turn cooldown so that way you can continuously have counter attack up whenever the clan boss is doing his AOE attacks. So he's only got two attacks. <laughs> A2 is another, uh, it doesn't really attack, it just places a 50% ally protection buff, which is great uh, on all allies, uh, on all allies except this champion for two turns and plays a counter attack buff on all allies except this champion for two turns. But what makes him so great is he puts an unkillable buff on him for one turn. So there's some unkillable teams that actually use him and then one unkillable uh person like uh the sir nicholas and they actually use his unkillable to take the stun and then you can basically just cleanse it off or he uh cleanses it automatically with his passive so his passive is decreases the duration of all debuffs by the, uh, on the champion by one turn at the start of each turn so if he gets hit with a stun it's not going to reset his his uh cooldown so you have to kind of like gear it towards that but at least it'll take it off him. So if you don't have a cleanser with that, you can kind of play around with it. But that's what makes him so cool is because he'll put an ally protect, so it's 50% less damage all your allies take, and he's unkillable. So when he takes that damage, he doesn't die. That That's kind of his niche. It's, it's just such a cool spell. Uh, then ally resist and faction crypts by 45%. You can make him your lead in faction crypt, which isn't bad for uh, Ogrim. I know that it definitely helps with the boss, so that's good. And then mastery standard clan boss masteries we went down to the counter attack route and then obviously all the way down to war master he needs to almost proc war master to heal back up so you want him to kind of have a lot of damage which i'll show you in a little bit so now the gear uh with him you definitely want to go lifesteal i use him with bad l uh, as well so he heals 30 percent of, of the you know hp but you want lifesteal on this guy almost 99 percent of the time so notice that I have green sets. So this is again, an average account, average build, uh, but it's a pretty good build because we haven't changed it and it works. So we're doing about two key on the Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss, uh, three key on green affinity. So if you're looking at this build and you see the gear, you can do this gear, all right? So first off with the, um, we always go gloves. Uh, it's a lot easier to have him as close to 100% crit rate as possible because again, you want him to heal up with his one single attack uh, every single time so crit rate i would highly suggest unless you can get crit rate through the rest of your sets but makes it a lot easier if you just have crit rate on the gloves so crit rate or defense completely up to you i highly suggest going with the crit rate uh the sets bunch of sets work for him so whatever you need we needed the speed so we put a speed set on him. if you need uh defense put the defense set on him. if you need uh crit rate put the crit rate set like any two-piece set that you, we don't actually don't don't do accuracy any two piece set that you guys have that you need or it could be an offset whatever pieces you have as an offset use that but the main set i highly suggest is the lifesteal set all right so offsets um two piece sets would be the ones that we went up up top but we gotta sell that cruel isn't bad if you want that five percent extra ignore defense like let's say let's say it's the last set you have it's the best gear you have put it on who the hell cares 
Then we have this one, which is also very good, 15% HP and heals 3%, uh, which we might actually re-gear, I'm not sure, no, we'll leave it. Uh, this one is a crit rate set, so if you need crit rate, this one's HP, this one's speed if you need the speed set, like I said. Um, this is also a very good set. It's 10% HP 20 or 10% defense. This is just an all around good set and you can craft these. Like look how many we have. Uh, we have to actually go through these. This you don't want, you don't want accuracy. Uh, and this one just for 5% crit, you can use it if you want, but that's, and this one is a uh, frost, but there's no frost on the clan boss. So those are the sets that I highly suggest. We again went with the speed. So crit rate highly suggest, but the goal for you is you want 191 speed. We happen to get 192, so I apologize for that. But if you get 191 speed, you want him to go last on your clan boss team. So depending on the speed ratio of the clan boss, that's the speed that you want to be uh, above. So the clan boss is 191 speed. We want to be 191 speed, but we're always going to go before the clan boss. That's just how it is. Um, but we, with him, we went 192 speed. So all of your other champions, you want to go before this guy because of his skills. He's going to put up the counter attack uh, last and then kill buff. So if somebody else goes before him or after him, they're losing that one extra turn of the counter attack. So the speed you 100% want to go 191 or 192 speed. That's it. All right. So crit rate gloves for that. Uh, crit damage was, was a bonus. Uh, accuracy. Again, we don't want any accuracy. This sucks. You know, we try and get him as little as possible. So we just happen. I guess I took this off somebody else, but HP is great. And defense obviously is great for this guy. So you want to go defense, HP, uh, crit rate, crit damage and speed. You don't really need because you're going to get it from your boots and your banner. Uh, defense hundred percent on, on the, on the chest piece. Uh, unless you have a crap ton of defense and you want to get around 4k defense, everything else you want HP. So HP, we got 9% there. It's a green uh, chest piece, but we got speed at the bottom one on the bottom roll. These other two are kind of like whatever. Uh, speed boots, uh, easiest way to get speed. We have HP, which is great. Attack doesn't really matter. HP also great and the defense. So these are pretty good boots for him. Uh, attack just doesn't really matter. Defense uh, on this, we got defense, speed, a lot of HP there uh, and crit rate. For the helmet, it's a really good way to get crit rate and crit damage on the helmet. Uh, but we have HP, defense, and crit damage, and a little bit of extra defense right there. And then finally, the weapon, we have speed, uh, HP, accuracy again, null and void. I might actually switch this out because you know we're making a new video on them uh, and crit rate. So I could probably switch out this if I get another 60% uh, crit rate glove or switch this out and just get more HP and... Uh, other stats but try and get rid of that accuracy uh, these it's really whatever you need at the end so we needed a little bit more defense again aim for that 4k once you get that 4k defense mark all hp because the more hp he has it's going to be a lot easier trust me but we got uh crappy i mean it's a lot of hp right there that's actually 15 1600 hp uh six percent plus a good roll 18 percent defense with a good roll and then attack doesn't really matter but these are the main stats you're looking for this is an option for you. You can either go uh, defense, or if you're up to you know 90 to 100 percent crit rate, go with the crit damage. So we have 10 percent crit damage. So I was like, an extra 30 percent might be worth it. I gotta I gotta look into my gear. But uh, defense, if you need more defense, and then substats, just HP, crit damage, uh, or defense, whatever substats you have. Try not to get the accuracy in this. And then finally, the banner. 100% defense or 100% uh, HP. Those are the, the ones you're looking for, but this is gonna another way to get the most speed. So we actually had 18 speed without a glyph because I didn't want to glyph it because then we'd be over speed. Uh, and then whatever substat you can get. But this is a really, really fast banner with defense as a main stat. So those are the, the stats you're looking for for your skull crusher, right? So not total stats, let's go over this. We have 4,177 defense, which is great. When he gets, uh, hit with a stun you can cleanse it but he's going to be able to kind of survive so that's that's really good uh 192 speed we already went over that 90 percent crit rate we weren't able to get that to 100 percent, but he still does crit quite often and then 118 crit damage this uh just needs to be better like i need to get more crit damage on this guy uh so that way if he gets like you know weak hit at least he still hit pretty hard uh so that's kind of what you want is you want uh, as close to 100 percent crit damage or crit rate with uh, as much crit damage as you possibly can get. Accuracy, we have 80 from the Great Hall, <laughs> and then 24 from those two uh, artifacts things that you saw, so 24, so if we can get that down to zero, it'd be perfect. <laughs> 47K HP, now this is what I've noticed a big difference with. 
we used to have 4,700 uh, defense, uh, and it and he was dying too soon. So we kind of switched it up. We went more def or less defense uh, and more HP, and was actually just able to survive a little bit longer, which got us more turns, more damage, and we were able to kind of ro rotate through uh, the clan boss a lot easier. So that's what I would suggest. 4,000 defense uh, and as much HP as possible. If you can get this up to 50, 55k defense, you're in a very, very good spot. Uh, as long as you get all the other stats pretty good. Again, you need the crit rate and crit damage for this guy because he has to heal. If he doesn't heal, he's going to get less. Uh, the, the shared uh, attack is still up, so then he just gets hit one more time and he takes all the damage and, and dies. So that's kind of why you need that HP. All right. So let me know how you guys haven't built if you haven't built any other way besides the lifesteal set let me know uh if you want to put it in the comments below on who you want to see next uh if not join the discord and put up some uh suggestions on some videos coming out but we got a, t a whole list in front of me of all these videos where, where we got planned uh for all of the um how-to gear guides we got skull crusher god seeker vizier soul drinker sepulcher archmage warrior guard and allure all just today so guys i appreciate you fellow dirtbag dirtbag nation uh count giveaways you know every couple hundred uh 50 subs join that uh videos are posting up a lot so appreciate it good luck with everything and uh, enjoy the rest of your day